Okay, so let's get into the solution now of number 3, part A. So we've got to find the integral of x times cos 2x dx. Now this is a typical example for integration by parts. And let me remind you of the formula. Okay, if you've got the integral of a product of two different functions, we tend to call them u and dv by dx. And if we're integrating something like this with respect to x, in this particular example, my u is the x and my dv dx is the cos 2x, then the answer is always u times v minus the integral of v times du dx with respect to x. Okay, and it's that that I'm going to use. So my u is going to be the x and my dv dx is going to be the cos 2x. So let's get straight into this then. So according to the formula it's u so u is the x, I'll write that in brackets like so. And then v is the integral of what I've called dv dx, and that was cos 2x. So I've got to integrate this to get back what v is. So the integral of cos 2x is going to be a half sine 2x. Alright, and I put that in brackets. Then it's minus the integral, so put that in there, the integral of v. Now v was this answer here, so I'm going to write that in as a half sine 2x. And then I multiply v by the differential of u with respect to x. So u was x, and if I differentiate x with respect to x, I get 1. So I put that in there and write the dx on the end. Okay. Now my next stage is I just want to clean this first term up and I can do x times a half so that's a half x or simply x over 2 multiplied by sine 2x. I don't need the brackets anymore. I could obviously write x sine 2x all over 2 if I wished. I'm not going to integrate this yet, I'm just going to simply just tidy it up. So that be minus the integral of a half sine 2x. In fact, I could put the half out the front here, and then I've just got the integral of sine 2x with respect to x. So I copy the first term down again, so that's x over 2 sine 2x. And then I have minus a half, and now I've got to integrate sine 2x. And the integral of sine 2x is minus a half cos 2x. And then I mustn't forget the constant of integration, which I'll call plus c. And if I tidy this up again, the first term is tidied up anyway, so that's x over 2 sine 2x. But the second term becomes plus a quarter, plus a quarter sine, I'm oh, sorry, not sine, cos 2x, and then plus the constant c. And there you have it, okay? So the solution then to part a. So we now move on to part b, and we're given an identity that uh, they seem to suggest is going to help us to work out the next integral, the integral of x cos squared x dx. So let's have a look at that identity first of all that they give us. That's cos 2x equals 2 cos squared x minus 1. Now, if we're to integrate x cos squared x, then I can see that this term here almost resembles x cos squared x, only it hasn't got an x in it. But I can create that by multiplying both sides by 
x. So I therefore have x cos 2x equals 2x cos squared x minus x. And if I rearrange this, I'm going to get 2x cos squared x. Okay, and what I'm going to do is add x to both sides, and so it is going to give me 2x cos squared x equals x cos 2x plus an x. Now, I don't want a 2 in here, so I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So let's divide both sides by 2, and that's going to give me x cos squared x equals one half of all of this thing on the right, x cos 2x plus x. All right. Now we were asked to find the integral of x cos squared x. So what I'm going to do then is just integrate both sides with respect to x. So it becomes the integral of this side with respect to x is equal to the integral of all of this with respect to x. Now we have a constant here, so I can slip the constant outside the integral, and I have an integral there with respect to x. All right. So let's see how we can do this side now. Okay. Well, we've got a half, and we should know what the integral of x cos 2x. That was the reason why they said hence, because we worked this out in part A. Here it is, up here. So we might as well just copy that in. Let's just give some uh, brackets here, and we'll put the first term, which is x over 2 sine 2x. And then the next term was plus a quarter cos 2x. OK, so that's the integral of x cos 2x. I don't need to write the constant in. And then we've got to integrate the plus x, and that's going to be plus x squared over 2. And then I've got a new constant of integration. I'm going to call that new constant a. All right. What could I do next? Well, essentially, this is the answer, but I could tidy this up by, let's say, uh, pulling out the lowest common multiple of 2, 4, and 2, and that would be 4. So I could pull that 4 out here as a quarter, and a half times a quarter is 1 eighth, so that becomes 1 eighth, and then a bracket, and then what I've got to do is adjust for the fact that I've pulled out the 4. So what this would become would be 2x sine 2x plus, and then simply cos 2x plus 2x squared plus a constant, that constant being a. And I feel that that's a neater answer than the one above. OK, so uh, there you have it. That's the end of question three. And uh, I hope you've managed to understand that.